Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 103 and the question is 7. It reads a ship is travelling at 15 metres per second. A passenger on board runs across the deck at right angles to the direction of motion of the ship at a speed of 8 metres per second relative to the ship. Find the actual velocity of the passenger. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to sketch the motion. So we draw our y-axis and our x-axis, making our xy or Cartesian plane. We know that the boat will say, I'm going to say the boat is moving in the plus i-hat unit vector direction. So we can say it's moving like so. I'm going to say vb, v boat. All right. And we're told that the passenger runs at 8 meters per second relative to the ship. Okay. So he's running, a passenger runs across the deck at right angles to the direction of motion of the ship at a speed of 8 meters per second relative to the ship. So we have VB, so let me have the relative to the ship, so the velocity of the passenger relative to the ship. So that's VPB, velocity of the passenger relative to the boat, we'll say, we'll say S for ship. Alright, is equal to VP minus Vs, and that's equal to 8 meters per second. We don't know its direction, so I'm going to give it a magnitude sign here. Oh, that's in the wrong place. Like so. Now, we're told that he runs at right angles to the direction of motion of the ship. So, if I was the passenger and I ran directly across the ship, and you were in a helicopter hovering above the ship, and you plotted where I began and where I finished not in regard to the boat but in regard to something else like the sea what you would see is my motion doing this I would think I did this but you would see of course that in, in, in regard to the sea I actually went diagonally so for that reason what we can say is as follows the passenger is trying to head he's heading at uh, we'll say a positive j hat direction like so so I'm going to say this is VPS because the, the velocity of the passenger isn't directly upwards he actually ends up going diagonally so it's the velocity of the passenger relative to the ship is, uh, is, is, is we'll say directly upwards now just how do we prove that or just to convince ourselves if we once again analyze VPS let's go to VP minus Vs but only when only when S is stationary so let's think about this what would happen the passenger if he ran across the ship when the ship was stationary well then he would go directly upwards alright so we know that is correct however the ship is moving so where the, the passenger actually goes is not that direction he actually moves diagonally so I hope we've uh, I hope we've conv I've convinced you excuse me of that uh, that V P S the passenger relative to the ship is in fact the J hat direction. So we have as follows we have eight we know that V P S is eight units so we can now give it a direction we can say that V P S is equal to zero I hat plus eight J hat the magnitude of which of course is eight units so zero I hat plus 8 j hat is equal to vp minus the velocity of the ship is equal to the velocity of the ship is equal to um, 15 meters per second okay so this is 15 i hat like so therefore v passenger is equal to 15 i hat plus 8 j hat so the next thing we need to do is ask ourselves does that make sense so look here we have a positive i and a positive j so that puts us in this quadrant here and look where did i say where did i anticipate that we we're going to go but in that direction there and that's exact that's where the passenger actually went that's vp that's where he actually went and this is where he headed all right so find the actual velocity of the passenger so that's his velocity, and just just to we'll say be rigorous, let's get his 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 speed. So the magnitude of VP is equal to speed, 
and that equals the root of v um, v p sub x squared plus v p sub y squared. Something we've seen plenty of times. So that turns out to be uh, 15 squared plus 8 squared all rooted. And I'll just plug that into my calculator so we get 15, 15 squared plus 8 squared giving 289 and if we root that we get 17 meters per second is the magnitude of the velocity of the passenger. The magnitude is the speed of the passenger. So I'm just going to check this in the back of the book. So 4b question 7 and yes 17 meters per second is correct. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.